To Midday Kentucky, everyone. Well, Dr. Eric Smith, general and bariatric surgeon from over there at Georgetown Bariatrics and Advanced Surgical Services. And we're talking all about changing the surgical experience with Robotic Platform. Welcome back to the show, my Thanks. friend. Thanks you for You look me. fantastic. You've been on Thank a bit you. of a family break. Yes, my kids had spring break, so it's a <laughs> nice little getaway. That's good to hear. I want to ask you about the robotic surgery. Just explain to us, why did you decide to get into that type of surgery? Well, I started doing robotics in 2012, and I probably looked at the technology for about two years prior to that. You know, for me, uh, it was different in general surgery because a lot of people like urologists and gynecologists used it as a way to get into minimally invasive surgery. So I was already doing those things laparoscopically. And so it took a little bit more time to evaluate that until I could see the advantages of the, te of the technology as to why we, we would make it applicable for what I do. Yeah, and Dr. Eric, one of the things that I hear about you around town and other surgeons that I interview is that you not only are one of the leaders here in Kentucky, but you go around America teaching other surgeons about this procedure. Tell us about that and why you do that. Yeah, well, I enjoy it. Um, you know, I guess most would consider I was pretty early in the learning curve for my field, mm -hmm. general and bariatric surgery, and so the volume of general, of general and bariatric surgeries that I've done on the robotic platform is fairly high. Um, you know, I enjoy teaching other people the technology. I think that I have seen the benefit that it provides my patients. I think it takes something we already did really well if you were good at laparoscopy and made us much better. Um, and so I have surgeons from all over that will come and watch cases at the hospital wow. as well as go to other hospitals and proctor them. Why and is well, why is Georgetown Hospital a leader in it? Is it you and your team that are just at the forefront of this surgery? Well, I think it's a unique situation. You know, I, I started the program at Georgetown, but I came to Georgetown with a large volume of, of robotic surgery in right. my pocket. So in starting that, we started a team from scratch, but our team has spent a lot of time on their own dedicated to learning robotics. And when we first started, very quickly, we were noticed by other places that came right. to visit how efficient they were. And so now it's a team approach, and everybody is very skilled at what they do. Okay, well, let's delve into what is it and how it works. So people at home can, you know, we can talk about it and give ideas but and a little bit more depth, but explain to it in general terms. Sure. What the system so is. So really the easiest way to explain robotic surgery, to kind of summarize it to patients is I'll say, if, if I can do a surgery in a minimally invasive way, but now I can tell you that I can see 10 times magnified, I can see in 3D and HD, um, I can handle tissue more precisely. I can have a completely steadied hand. There's no tremor that's translated through the robotic instruments. And most importantly, I will usually use the example and tell patients, all right, if you had to go to work today and I were gonna put casts on your wrists, I wanna have you do your job for the whole day and then come back, let's take those casts off. Yep. Tomorrow, let's see how you like your job without them. That's what robotic surgery has done for us compared to laparoscopy. Because laparoscopic surgery, we use straight instruments that have no wristed motion. Robotic surgery through very small five, eight millimeter incisions, now my instruments have complete wristed motion as I would if my hands were in that patient. Okay. And it changes the game of what we can do. D is it for all procedures at the hospital or is it only on specific type of operations that you can use this system? So, you know, the majority of the laparoscopic procedures that I did mm -hmm. prior, I have now converted over to robotic. There are some surgeons that may choose just a handful of procedures and okay. how it applies to them. I think it's, it's surgeon specific, but for me, um, over a period of time, it wasn't one day I switched everything over. It's taken years to develop techniques right. to where I can feel like it can be efficient and be in, an improvement upon what I did the majority of the intra-abdominal procedures and the laparoscopic procedures I did, now I do robotically. So I'm hearing from you, the more procedures that a surgeon does with this system, the more you can grow with that as well and end up doing different types of procedures. Absolutely. It's a bit like a computer program. Once you're good at Word, you go to Excel. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it's volume. You know, I yeah. mean, there's, there's multiple studies out there in medicine that look at specific surgeries and say that people that do higher volume of these surgeries have better outcomes. I mean, that's not a new concept that, we, that we've had in medicine for years. So for robotic surgery, it's the same thing. The more robotic procedures that we do, and, and it also translates. So it's not just for one specific procedure. The more familiar someone is with the robotic platform, the more experienced they are, the more 
the, the better the outcomes will be and the more proficient they'll be with it. Okay, well, Dr. Eric Smith, we think you're amazing, and we love that you are putting Kentucky um, robotic surgery on the map here in Kentucky, and we appreciate the time that you spent. If you want to find yeah. out more information about George Chambariatrics and advanced surgical surgeries, there's all the information there. Or look, you can head over to their website. It's a fantastic website. It gives you incredible information. Or give them a call on 502 570 3727. We appreciate your time. We'll be back after this short break.